Horizon is the best open world game I have ever played and it's also the only open world game I have ever finished. But why? I'm a gamer, I have played a lot of games, I love games, I love the story, I love characters, I love the action, I love everything about them. But I never finished an open world game, except for Horizon. What is it about Horizon that makes it so different from every other game, so that I can finish them? Every open world games have the same build-up, right? You have the main quest and a ton of side quests. You have many different characters and dialogues, and of course, the beautiful world landscape. And every game is different. Every main character is different. There are different personalities, there is goals and background stories. But I think it all comes down to the character arc and how that is presented through the story. And I think there are no games that does it so well other than Horizon. Because this is supposed to be the main key in a game. This is what's supposed to drive you to keep you playing until the very end. And there must be a reason behind why I haven't been able to play any other open world game to the end except for Horizon. But what? I think it all comes down to the main character, because you are spending a lot of time with this one. So it has to be appealing to you on some level. And I think I can say this with confidence, that Aloy presents emotions, thoughts and opinions that we all can relate to, whatever it is and whatever setting it is. Something is so relatable with Aloy. It may be different to everyone, but I think everyone can see one piece of themselves in Aloy. And Aloy's character arc is connected to the main quest so well, so well that every quest in the game makes so much sense. And this is what's so unique about our main character in Horizon, but more about that later. If you agree or don't agree, tell me in the comments below. I would love to read your thoughts about Horizon. And please, be nice. <laughs> what is it about Aloy that is so unique then? Let's take a closer look at her story from Horizon Zero Dawn. What is her main quest? I am not talking about the game's quest. I am talking about Aloy's quest. Because these two things are different. And it's easy to miss, or it's actually easy to forget along the main story, because it's so good. But Aloy's quest is about belonging to somewhere. She has spent her entire life being an outcast, having no place to call a home, no community, and with no people to support her. She grew up with a father figure, but without answers to her past. Where did she come from, and why is she an outcast? In Horizon Zero Dawn, Aloy's quest is to figure this out, and also to find answers to her biggest question. Who is her mother? And belonging to a community is kind of a big theme in Horizon Zero Dawn. And I think it's only in Horizon Forbidden West we can see this unfold even more. These themes is something maybe most of us can recognize. 
because we may all feel at some point that we want to belong to somewhere. We may not think about this daily, and we can even forget about it. But the way Horizon presents this to us through Aloy is so good, and a very good reminder. Let's move on to the main story of the game, because Aloy is a big part of this, and it also becomes a big part of her life, and that is saving the world. And as a player, that feels pretty awesome to be a part of, because who doesn't want to be a hero? Who doesn't want to be an everyday hero? Saving the world. Let me tell you who. Aloy. What? Is that a statue of me? <laughs> That's <laughs> new. Oh, poor Aloy. <laughs> oh, a statue of me. A hero that doesn't want to be a hero? That's like the most common trope out there. So what makes it so different in Horizon? I think it all comes back to what I just said. It's because it's not Aloy's only longing or main goal. And it's not her only thrive. Because her most important mission is to find somewhere she can belong and find out who is her mother. Aloy is also the most interesting character I have ever played and it all comes down to her personality. We are not given a I don't know how to function in this world character. No, we are given a strong headed woman who knows what she wants and does whatever it takes to get to her goal. But her path to the goal is so different from any other game. Because every side quest in the world makes so much sense. Because she is a part of it. The whole world becomes sort of her community at one point. And you as a player may also feel that. Whether you are doing a side quest that involves saving a brother or a sister, or maybe it's picking flowers for an elderly woman. It all makes sense, because they are part of something bigger. They are part of the world, and it's this world you are going to save. Every person you meet and help in a side quest is part of this, and it never feels meaningless. And I've never felt so connected to something so wholesome. Do you get me? It makes the main quest about saving the world just so much bigger. Because you are meeting people with everyday life and task that you know will be important to function in the future world. And this brings me back to Aloy's personality, because it all comes into play every time you're helping another person. Aloy in Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West are almost two completely different characters. And that is the whole point, because she is growing from the first game to the second. When you're playing Aloy in Zero Dawn, she is determined strong-headed and a bit angry? She's not afraid to put people in their place when they're saying something that is wrong or they're doing something wrong. But one thing that captured my heart with Aloy 
is the way she is meeting people. Even when they are bad, Aloy is patient and she shows kindness to everyone. And she is meeting people where they are, in their beliefs, their attitude and their actions. She doesn't always agree and she speaks her mind about it, but I have never felt that she's rude, but she is showing respect. She is getting to know other people, she's listening to them, and she is trying to understand them. And I think this is showing stronger in Horizon Forbidden West. What struck me the most is when she is meeting So. I think this is a moment of change in Aloy, because at this point Aloy is broken down and she is still having this urgency to save the world, to do her task, to have the world on her shoulders. She's still a bit strict and angry, but when meeting So, her whole facade is just falling down and she is again finding herself to meet So in a peaceful manner, to listen, to show understanding and most of all meet each other with respect. And I feel like after that point in the game, something is changing within Aloy. And the more people she is meeting, the Tanakh tribes, the Quen, more and more of her personality is becoming stronger. And we are seeing the most wonderful side of Aloy. Don't get me wrong, Aloy can still put you in place if you are saying something rude. <laughs> she has no trouble speaking her mind, as she should. And she's often right, and she also have the last word. Because, after all, she is the savior of Meridian. No, that's not it. Of course it's not. Aloy is speaking her mind, and she is having this confidence about her that I think everyone just respects. And this could have been her whole personality, actually. This could have been the Aloy we first meet, and it could still be the Aloy we play in Forbidden West. It would have been super easy for the game to just present this character to us that is like, okay, this is her. She is always strict, she is always speaking her mind, and everyone is respecting her. But she's not. She's learning. She's evolving. And she's having a wonderful character arc. It's so inspiring to watch and every time I am playing Horizon I am reminded of this and I'm also reminded of how I wanna be like Aloy in my everyday life. And that's what makes Horizon so good. Because this is a game that speaks to my heart and to my actions in my everyday life. It's not just a game. It is something deeper and it's something we can use. Because I think Aloy is a great example of how to be a human being and also how to meet human beings. It is love, it is belonging to a community, it is respect, it is knowing your boundaries and be a part of something bigger than yourself. And in this case, it's saving the world. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a comment below of what you thought was the best part of this video. Right now, I am doing a challenge to finish open world games and to see are there any other games that is better than Horizon? You can follow my journey on Twitch and you can also find me on TikTok where I post edits and funny content. And you can find me on Twitter where I post virtual photographs. And hey, remember to follow me here on YouTube so you get more analysis and other content. I'll see you next time. I'm Lady Merck.